Hello everyone and welcome back to Days Gone. I think part three now? Yeah, part three. It is part three. So I just woken up, so I'm a little bit woozy. But um, we, we're gonna we're gonna get through. I'm um, here. I'm here to kill some freaks. Then probably some. What was it called again? Those guys are like burns Bruce arm. Like I'm really not having my head in the game yet. Hold on. <laughs> the hell. Right, this loads longer than I remember. Right, here we go. Right. Start off right with the Now, I don't actually remember what we were doing last time and what we are supposed to be doing now. Um. I'm assuming this seems like something we're supposed to be doing, maybe? Um. Oh yeah, that's right, I was supposed to bring him the stash. He would make it worth my while, or whatever he said. Oh, I said he was gonna see what he can do for me in return. That sounded like something broke. Okay, I think it's breaking if I'm not keeping to the road. Now, what are these question marks that pops up every now and again? If it's on the road, I'm actually gonna check it out. Like, what the hell those things are. Now I might be able to catch up to him. I want him alive, Deke. Alive? Alive. You catch this man, then radio me. We'll fetch him and hang the bastard right from that limb. It's time we start showing these drifter sons of bitches that we have law and order in this camp. No offense meant to yourself. None taken. I'll find him. Alright. Now, what exactly am I searching for here? Probably something else with like a question mark within this area, I'm assuming. Like that! Alright, what have we got? Gotcha. Oh, and now it's the dead body, isn't it? Gotta take a closer look. What do we got? Someone has been ripped apart. Boozer, no, no, you're gonna get yourself killed. Uh, you gotta wait till you're whole, brother. Uh, I'm over here anyway, so I'll take care of the mess, okay? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Deke. Uh, Deke, wait till tonight. Be fewer freaks inside those nests. Okay. Or take them out while it's still light out. There'll be more of them, but they won't be as strong. Whew. Okay. Okay, I guess that was it. You there? <coughs> I got bored. Figured I'd see if I remembered how to make anything. Stop by when you can. I think you'll like it. Who's man? Thank you, brother. Uh, I'll be by. I feel like Booster feels like he's a burden. Yeah, you can't speed him. 
Okay. I feel like Boosie thinks he's a burden because I kind of like have to take care of him now. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Who remembers the skid rows in this great country? Another infestation on the streets and boxes and tents because they couldn't afford the American dream. I can tell those good people fall for this very country. Only to have the feds forget about them as soon as they were dumped. Them. PTSD. It doesn't stand for post traumatic stress disorder, it stands for put them soldiers down. Guess we're not gonna listen to what like I was going to say then. Alright. Um, she was the one who was still alive. Like the bitch she is. If he's gonna hurt her like that, he might as well just finish her off, you know, she don't have to suffer. Like we did to him, we didn't leave him to them freaks, just killed him. Maybe that's what the map is for, like the map was his stash. I wonder what I'm gonna need all these things for, if I'm gonna need them for anything, that is. Good. <clears throat> Sorry guys, my throat is a little messed up today. Oh. Ah. Weeping angel. This has gotta be it. Now where'd right. you hide the stash, Leon? Maybe in one of these. I mean, would make sense. So you need a crowbar. Got it. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna get this to. Is that a fucking chopper? What the hell? Boozer, who's man? Are you listening? Uh, well, you're not gonna believe this. I just saw a goddamn chopper. <laughs> Time and a fed chopper shows up out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm gonna chase him down and I'm uh, uh I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing. Hey, Deke, be careful. Don't get too close to what the hell they're doing. Don't do anything stupid. Hell no, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. Stupid is my middle name. Oh my god, can these just fuck off? I hope these things can't, like, fall off. And how in the hell am I supposed to follow that? I guess I have to get it later then. Maybe. Wait. Oh, this is the way I'm supposed to go. I don't know. I kinda don't wanna leave the chopper alone, you know? Kinda wanna see what the hell they're up to, but I'm assuming it's gonna be a mission, so even if I were to like drive off from it, I can still go back to it, you know? Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. I'm heading there right now. That's good enough. What the hell are they doing?
A beast, my friend. Okay, he did not really walk like I wanted him to, but um, here we are. Those are the freaks go out more frequently when it's raining, like it's night. What am I supposed to do? Like, am I just supposed to stay here? Am I supposed to get closer? Okay. I'm supposed to get closer like this. Don't 
Don't mind me, I'm not here, brother. Oh, that's a nest. They're not sleeping. Calm down now. That's a fucking wolf. Get off me. God damn it. Boozer, you there? Booze man, come back. Deke. Hey, uh, I'm here. When we rode on our farewell, the Nero guy, the soldier, or whatever the hell he was. Oh my god. Sarah. <gasps> when we rode on our farewell, the Nero guy, the soldier, or whatever the hell he was. Who took Sarah? Wait, what, what are you? He had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh, God. O'Brien. You wouldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. Okay, he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard. Okay, look. I went into their LZ, and they. Wait, wait. You, you went into their LZ? What the? Just listen to me. I heard them over the radio. They were talking about a man named O'Brien. Deke, don't. I'm not, Boozer. I'm not. I'm just. Hey, uh, get some sleep. Deacon out. Check. All right, there we go. Should be lost of them. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The start of this living hell that is now our life came as a surprise to no one who was listening to me when shit went down. <coughs> and I was one of the few. Most who spoke out against the feds. Well, things didn't go so well for them. The cemeteries are filled with martyrs. Wait, what? Well, people the saw this coming. The cemeteries are filled with freakers, not martyrs. And you had to keep moving, because if anyone had found your unmarked van, they would have blown it to hell. Just so I wouldn't have to listen to your bullshit Radio Free Oregon. Ah, clearly I don't like him. Um, no fuel? No fuel? No? I don't even know if you can find fuel like this. Um, where even are we? Any checkpoint nearby? Not really. Uh, what the hell is this? Oh, we are literally coming up on Nero's checkpoint. That is very good. Because I'm probably soon out of fuel. Yes, 50%. Okay, here we go. I 
wonder if you can like push the bike when you run out of fuel or if you're just out and now you can't move your bike. Bloody hell. That's a lot of freaks. Like that's a lot, a lot of freaks. They're coming after us! Yay! How kind of you to allow me to push this away? There's a lot of cars in the way, huh? And even more freaks. I'm more hoping that there is fuel around there. And would you look at that, that little tiny red thing I saw for the <laughs> for the planks. It was an actual fuel tank. And well, that's the wrong button. So I you refuel. Uh, I think this gas can is just infinite fuel, yeah. which is really nice. Green lights, green lights are good. Green lights are over good. Hold up, I it. never took these down. <laughs> Maybe I should hurry up and do that. I can only imagine that this is gonna set up some sort of an alarm while I'm opening the doors. Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. 
Black helicopters have been spotted in the skies. You might have seen them. Heard them. Thought you were losing your mind. But you're not. They're real. And they're proof. That it looks like they're going here. We thought Nero died out here like the rest of them. Caving under their own stupidity. But no. Like I said. Time to then crawl up out of their holes and reclaim this world. But it ain't happening. Not on my watch. Yes. And don't go running towards them thinking they're gonna save your ass. Any man wearing a uniform I worth a damn died more than two years ago. Damn it. That's gonna bring them all down on me. This is Mark Cole all right. from Radio Free Oregon. Here we go. Don't believe the lies. Hope they're not trying to reclaim shit. Oh, another one of those micro recorders. I wonder what happened to you. Ma'am, you must return to your vehicle. We will get to you. Twelve hours. I've got two sick children in the back. We need. You're all in there. I just want to talk to you. Ma'am, you must return to your vehicle now. Eddie, you got some bottled water. Give it to her. I'm having more stamina. Oh, I, I crashed. Apparently my game did not want me to do that. Alright, um, hmm. I, we, we have hit the uh, almost 30 minute mark. My videos are around 40 minutes. So, let's just end episode 3 there. Kind of like an unwanted ending, but... If you like this... If you like what you saw, please subscribe, leave a comment, and like this video. And I hope I see you in the next episode. Bye!